In this problem, we're being asked to find the derivative of this function. So we have a fraction, and there's nothing we can really do to simplify it. So we're going to use the quotient rule in this problem. So recall the quotient rule says, if you have a function, which I'll call f, and we divide it by g, and we take the derivative, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. If you want to like relate it to the quotient, to the product rule, you can think of f as the first and g as the second. So it's the derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second over the second one squared. So it's very similar. Recall the product rule is almost the same, right? It's the derivative of the first times the second minus the first derivative of the second. It's a uh, plus, the first derivative of the second. So it's the same for the product rule, except you have a plus and you're not dividing. Here you have a minus and, and you're dividing. Okay, so f prime of x. So let's see, it's the derivative of the top piece, which is 1, times the bottom piece. So x minus 8, okay, minus the top piece, which is x times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1, all over the bottom piece squared. Let me go over that uh, again one more time. So it'll be the derivative of the top piece, so the derivative of x, which is 1, looks okay, times the bottom piece, which is x minus 8, looks okay, minus the top, which is x, times the derivative of the bottom piece, which is just going to be 1, right, because the derivative of negative 8 is 0, all over the bottom piece squared. So this is equal to x minus 8 minus x over parentheses x minus 8 squared. Looks like the x's cancel, so we end up with negative 8 over x minus 8 squared, and that would be the derivative using the quotient rule. So this is the formula, totally worth knowing. Again, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. Very similar to the product rule, except you have a minus and you're dividing by g squared.